What's up guys? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Episode 23. Hope you guys are super excited to be back here on Fire Emblem. I know I am for what I believe is the end of Ellie Wood's story. This is Chapter 20, New Resolve. At last, Ellie Wood's long-awaited reunion with his father, as well as their painful farewell. After escaping the Dread Isle, they returned to the port city of Bandon. Ellie Wood remained silent for the duration of their passage. He sits, cradling his father's cold hand, as if it, as if to warm him back to life. The feels. They're hitting me right, right here, right here in the, in the R. My, are you feeling better? Uh, yes. That, that's good. Long time no see, Niles. <laughs> You've grown, haven't you? Is it really you, Lindis? It seems like it's been so long. Even though it's only been a year since I last saw you. So much has happened since we left you and Kaelin. Hey! Care to talk about things the rest of us can follow? Hmm. Who's he? This is Hector. He's Marquis Ostia's brother. Don't let his attitude fool you. He acts, he acts mean, but he's decent enough. <laughs> Acts mean? Seems pretty mean to me. <laughs> and you might remember this one. He's... <sighs> yep, I remember. He's the man who helped Nye. You're Elbert's son, aren't you? Your red hair, gentle eyes, and even voice. You're just like him. Mm. Where did you meet my father? At the Dragon's Gate. He set us free after we'd been captured. We escaped in a small boat, but I was thrown out in the storm. When I woke up, I was back on Valor. For a time, I hid in the ruins by myself. Then I sensed something really dangerous. When I raced to the Dragon's Gate, I... I saw everything. Niles. When we pulled Nye from the boat, she'd lost her memory. I can't believe we brought her right back to our captors. What a horrible thing to do. I'm sorry. Lady Lynn. <laughs> Lady Lynn, you did nothing wrong. When Niles fell overboard, I didn't know what to do. I became lost within myself. If only I'd been stronger. All of this could have been avoided. I am truly sorry. Nye's power is greater than mine, but it cost her physical and emotional strength. Nurgle explained that. Weakness. Nye kneels. Was he after you because you have the power to call dragons? Uh, I think it's because we can open the dragon's gate. Just calling them. <laughs> Nero can do that on his own. Are you serious? Yes, but it requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. Quintessence? Uh, that's what Nirgo called it. The substance of the human spirit. Power. Energy. The essence of life itself. Nirgo, he... He stole this quintessence. What happens to those whose... Quintessence is stolen? They... They die. Neither I nor I have that power. Lynn knows, we only have our special power. Anyway, Nurgle needed to gather a large amount of quintessence. So he sent his henchman, Ephidel, to get close to Marquis Laus. He sought to plant the seeds of war in Darren's power-hungry heart. To what end? It seems the quintessence in each person varies in strength. A person of strong mind and body has hundreds of times more energy than the average person. It sounds like there aren't many people like that, though. It took too long for Nurgle to find people with enough strength. Although it would take some time, Nurgle said the easiest way to get that much quintessence was by starting a war. So he planned to make up for quality with quantity, is that it? Black-hearted fiend! Are all men nothing but pawns to him? Ephidel brought Elbert to the Dragon's Gate. He said he found the ideal source they had sought. Nurgle's plans for war had been stopped, and yet he was happy. He'd taken so much energy from the knights traveling with Albert, he was sure he'd get even better quintessence from Albert. Niles! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Lord Elliewood, uh, it's, it's alright. When I found my father at the Dragon's Gate, I knew his knights were no longer alive. Elliewood, your, your father told us that he had a son. He said you were blessed with a natural fighting ability, but he also told us that you were compassionate and disdained fighting. He told us that his son would be a better ruler than he was. He told us that he would sooner sacrifice himself than see his homeland by CM world by the flames of war. 
bats. When we lost all hope at the Dragon's Gate, your father always spoke to us of happy things. Well, he mainly spoke of his cherished son and his dear wife, but Nye and I, we, we loved him very much. His stories about his family, they saved us. Oh, Father. Father. Uh, Hector, uh, we should let him be alone for a while. Sure. Come on, Nye, Niles. As you say. Lord Hollywood. Mm, Nye, I didn't see you. I'm sorry about before, I just needed some time to think. Should you be up? You've had a rough time. Your coloring's not very good. You should rest. Look at you, all scratch, scratches and bruises. You need to be properly taken care of. Why? Hmm? Why was Lord Albert so... Lord Elliewood, why were you both so kind to us? It's... this is... this is all my fault. These nightmares, all these terrible things. Nye, crying ill suits a girl of your beauty. I'm fine, please don't cry. I'm sorry. So sorry. There's something you must hear. You're not responsible for what happened to my father. You suffered as much as he did. Please don't punish yourself further. Lord Ellie, what I... I... Ah! Uh, oh, what, what is it? Uh, oh. Uh. Nye? Uh, enemies. Enemies draw near. And we're just chilling outside like no big deal. So what do we do now? I wonder what happened to Nergo. Lord Elbert gave, up on, gave him a grievous wound when he stabbed him. His wounds will not kill him. And that's what Lord Elbert said too. Do you know what he meant? Nergo uses quintessence on himself as well. His wounds heal quickly. His body does not age. So he isn't human? If nothing else, he's... Ah! Oh, what is it? Uh, call everyone. Enemies approach. Uh, Elliewood deserves a little more time for rest. Well, then we'll handle this ourselves, shall we? Probably. I don't believe. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say I highly doubt Elliewood's gonna let us handle this. So. Here you all are. Ah, Elliewood. Listen, get ready for battle. I want to get over this over with quickly to protect, to protect the villagers. Meet the enemy commander and drive drive him them out of here. Hey, little guy, go hide in the village. Ah, uh, no, he is the best part ever. No way I can help you out. Niles, you really are a big help, but shouldn't you be with Nye now? Ah, uh, all right. No, he's amazing. Let's go. Freaking, I want to use them. They're literally the best. All right, let's just hop right into it. Realist game level 11. Yes, we're going to go ahead and deploy him because why not? And I, stop, where are you going? I... I'm going to help. Oh, no you're not. You're still too weak. Uh, but, but I merely wish to help Lord Elliewood. Even if just a little. I I stole his father's life from him. I know this This will never make up for it. Uh, Niles, please. Hmm. I understand. Give me your hands. Niles? I'll give you some of my power. You'll just get in the way if you go out like this. Niles, I I'm sorry. Whoa! Ooh, that should do it. <laughs> Help them for me, too. Thank you. Lord Elliewood. Nye, you shouldn't be here. Please allow me to help. Uh, help? I have no intention of making you fight. I'm no mere dancer. My dances, uh, they will help you. I don't even remember what she does. No, did we actually see her? I don't actually don't think we've ever used her before, actually. I don't remember. Honestly, really don't remember. Uh, this is... I'm wrapped in some sort of energy. I use Nye's grace and dance for you, Lord Elliewood. It will only last a short while, but while it does, you are protected. Please, allow me to remain at your side. Nye, of course, if it'll make you feel better. Let's rejoin the battle, don't leave my side. Why didn't you do that for Lord Albert? Okay. Wiz, please tell me what you want me to do. I cannot fight, but... I can aid with my dance. I ask for your understanding and assistance. Alright, so what do we have? A couple enemies of the black thing there. No one else really around for oh okay, it's this way. Oh leg, I don't see him yet. Uh so he's he's over that way. I'm gonna go ahead and have odd one just just 
just have nothing in his inventory. That's what I'm gonna have Oswald do. Is this an, that's a vendor. Is that an armory right there? Please tell me that. Yes, it is. Sweet. Uh, just just run in there real fast. And uh, yep, this is an armory. Uh, let me buy myself a javelin, 400 gold, and a lance. Nope, that that should be it. All right, that's all he can do. But uh, do you not have any items either? Oh my gosh, why does no one have anything? Wasn't there another enemy right there? Where did the other enemy go? Pretty sure there was another one standing there. If I, unless I'm misremembering. Fairly certain there was another one standing there. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. Alright, it's cause we've moved people. Hector, you just charge straight in. At least, at least I, I have an armory just right here. Anyone who does not have a weapon, I can purchase one for them. Uh, I'm assuming we all need to just head that way. Marcus, right over there. You only have a silver sword. Oh, Marcus should probably purchase as well. Honestly, Ellie Wood needs to purchase, so I need to have him chill here for a bit. What is this? I don't know if that's an actual enemy or what that is. I'm gonna have him run that way, see if we can figure it out. I'm gonna have Priscilla follow him up. There we are. I don't know why this one, like, we cannot see the full battlefield. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's nighttime or something? I don't know. Boom. The Silver Sword isn't what he. isn't, like, his best weapon, but he does so much damage with it. Uh, why you gotta attack Gorgas like that? That's rude. Okay. Hector, have you just run around this dude so that we can keep moving? Uh, Marcus... Or... Actually... Lindus, come right over here. Medic Teddy's almost destroyed. I have to look at if there's a way to fix it, because it's real close to being destroyed. Alright. That way. Ellie would run in there. This is an armory. Thank you for reminding me. You can just buy yourself an iron sword. Buy a couple of them. Uh, no. We already have. We already have two. We don't need any more. Alright. I have Dorcas. Actually, what's your health at? Oh, you only. You only hit a little bit. Only a little bit. Anyway, we'll have her go ahead and heal you. Better safe than sorry. I have Marcus run over here and see what this is right here. Oh, does not mean anything? Right there. I don't know what these are. Maybe. Ooh, actually, can we man these? Actually, now that I think about that, is that something that, that's manable by us? I actually don't remember. It's, it's been a while since I have played Fire Emblem, and I've been playing a lot of XCOM 2. Uh. Which is actually a series I did a long time ago that no one ever watched. And the game crashed on me too much, but I've just been playing it for fun now. Oh, what the crap is that? What is... What? I thought that was a dragon at first, and I got so freaked out. Oh, this freaking silver sword broke. Of course he has nothing to attack with, but I, I'm blanking on what, what it is. Oh, what the actual name of the creature is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a worm? W... Y R M. There's a lot of enemies over there, Can't, and we cannot see any of them, which sucks. Oh, uh, can you? No, cannot man it. All right. Gonna attack the axe. He did. Marcus, go ahead and or uh, a retreat right there. You go ahead and heal him. Hollywood, you are now. Actually, before I do that, let's have. Let's have Oswald move up. He's going to be able to attack anyone from here. Oh. Uh, step up. Iron Sword. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill that one. Oh, and another enemy there. Ooh, 
push your, your health like half. That isn't the best. Where are you dead? Gotta shine. To shine on. Uh, I don't care. Either. Guy, you can't really do anything right there because I put low and right in the way there. So I need to run up there. Hollywood, right up there. Uh, increases ally defense and okay for a turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and bless Hector since he's lowish on health. So that way he can run over here. And uh, I wish he still had Wolf's Bay. <sighs> of course there's a freaking archer over there as well. Why wouldn't there be? Alright, he's gonna attack Guy. Is that the one we were right up next? Yeah, because we dealt two damage, right? And he doesn't attack back. Oh, never mind, he was on the other side of him. Missed, and... Uh, not a ton of not a ton of health done. Ooh, we did level up though, so that's cool. Uh, of course, she's gonna fly over, and uh, that was good that you missed. Good for us at least. He just went over and mounted that. Why couldn't we do that? And she got hurt real bad. Uh, ready to actually have you dance for him because I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, go ahead and mend her. Maybe, actually, now that I say that, I think only, if I remember correctly, only archers can actually use it. Which is why it does not work for us. Because none of us, none of, none of my troops are archers. Alright, let's buy ourselves a iron sword. Iron lance. No. Well, okay, what does he have on him? He has a... Uh, he has a bow, but he can't. I don't think he can use it, or else he would be. Uh... Uh... Let's just buy a. I don't know. I think he does better with a lance, but I'm just gonna grab a javelin just so he can attack from afar. Right, right there. Actually, we have Law's room. Let this guy just go ahead. And... Go ahead and, uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, just go ahead and get rid of that guy for me. Didn't do that, though. Ellie Wood got real close. Uh, Hector, you just hop up there. Steel Axe. That dude, he has two health. Come on. Thank you. I'm gonna be real upset if he missed. Lowen, up there in Iron Sword. That dude. Didn't kill him. Lynn. Yeah, the mint. This is so close to breaking, and I don't know how to how to repair it. Although, hopefully, if this is the last of the chapter, at another time skip happens or something, we it hopefully shouldn't matter. Or if she even isn't in the next arc, I hope she is. Still. I would miss Lynn if she wasn't with us anymore. How's everyone doing in health? Hector needs it the most. But I can get over it. I can. I'll just heal guy. There we are. Oh yeah, that dude's right around the corner shooting at us. I forgot about him. Dude, doing a lot of damage to Hector. Alright guys, can we not kill Hector? He's kinda gotta do his uh his own storyline uh next time around. I actually run in there. Yeah. Oswin can move there to actually uh do tons of damage. Yeah. Well, okay, or not. Or not tons of damage. I'll say he does tons of damage. And then he actually doesn't do that much damage. Oh, let's have you just run right here. And heal Hector. She levels up just so I can run Hector up here. And wait. That's all I can do. Around that way, attack with your wooden sword. Boom. Level up and he's dead. He got an antitoxin. Whatever that whatever that that'll do. I hash a new idea. Ellie would no one can also No one's gonna be able to go oh, 
Yeah, he can attack with a jab one. Boom! Making progress happen. That is what this is about. All the progress. Because I know you want to dance for Elliot Wood. Or you didn't dance for him, though. Did she just go again? Kim? Wait, did I forget how Nye works? Can she also have people go a second time? I thought only her brother could do that. I really don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I'm gonna have to test that. No, don't hurt Hector. I honestly still don't even know where we're going right now. Like, we're defeating Oleg, but I don't know where this Oleg is, other than hopefully over here somewhere. Alright, Oswin. Let's charge. Actually, yeah, go up here so we can also see more of the area as well. There we are, nice level up. Let's put someone right here, just for the sake of seeing if this works. Oh, if she just, her dancing just allows it, so, okay, yep, yep. So she can do that. I forgot. Forgot that she could also do that. I feel real stupid. I feel real, real stupid. Oh, well. What's uh, that? Charge that guy. There we are. Low and run over here. Wait. I threw off on that slide. Steel axe him. Wait. Because we're, we're eventually going to find where this dude is. Maybe. Maybe we won't, actually. I'm going to say we're going to find where he is, but we actually won't. Oh, 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 what is that thing? Is this, is this Oleg? It ends here. Your journey is over, and only oblivion awaits you. Yep, this is Oleg. You missed! Oh gosh, it's 42 health! What the crap? Dude has 42 health. And that's probably the Manic Patty breaking right there. That was probably the last it'll ever do. Nope, it's still around. Then another another worm coming up. It could be a Wavern actually since it flies. I think worms actually don't have wings. So these might be no Waverns don't have front legs. Waverns are back legs. Waverns are basically dragons. Waverns are what are in Skyrim, even though they're called dragons, but they're actually not. Or wyverns, whichever you want, whichever way you want to pronounce it. I've heard it both ways. Alright. Low one is hurting, kind of a little poison there. Oswin, come down here so I can uh, Iron Lance this dude up. Actually, before we do this, I'm going to be uh, smart here, because we have not this whole time. I'm going to go ahead and make it safe slot. Let's see how much damage you do. Oh, okay, you do like 12 damage. Decent enough, I guess. Uh, if I can actually encircle him, uh, it'll be pretty good for us. If he cannot leave his, the circle. Right, hit him with your sword. What about, ooh, that was some good damage. Because all he has is a bow. He has a ton of health, but all he has is a bow. Uh... I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have a low and fall back. After Celia. Min. Uh, yeah, Min. I think Min does the most. Dance for him. So that way he can go back up to play. That dude, Hector. Hector actually opened that one. Our guy right there. Oh, oh, well, that didn't. That didn't go how I was hoping it would. Yeah, this definitely did not go how I was hoping it would. Just wait there, because that's all you really can do. All right, do I want her to take out? I'll just have her take out him. Because if I don't, he's gonna he's gonna attack someone. Oh, okay, you didn't kill him. Okay. Hopefully he can't move, though. And the Manic Teddy broke. Sad days. Hope hopefully he cannot move, though. 
Oh, no, he actually has a weapon. He has a silver axe. He had just most recently used the bow, so we could. Don't hurt Priscilla. That's just rude. She can't even attack you back. Oh, and just a random horseman. Lynn cannot do anything right now. She's just dodging me. She cannot even attack. She cannot even hit you back. You guys are still missing her. Missed guy. Everyone's missing. Lowe is just slowly taking damage from that. Um, I have... I have... You come and finish. You come and take out that. Thank you. Oswin. Marcus. Go ahead and take out him. And defeat. There is only death. <sighs> well, and yeah, and, and you were, and you have all the death now. Because you're dead. There we are. Oh, and that was it. So, okay, cool. We just only had to kill him. Uh, hey, are you okay? Mm. Sorry to worry you. You don't have to push yourself, so we'll, we'll have time for morning when this is all finished. For now, in my father's name, I will do everything I can to stop Nergo and protect our lands. I see. So what do you have in mind? We need to see Marquis Ostia. My brother? After all we've learned, we cannot tell him, can we? Sure, I <laughs> guess. Uh, Hector, why, does, why that odd expression? Hector doesn't want to meet Lord Utha. He's been lax in contact with him and is afraid to face him, right? Oh, what? And how did you expect me to send him messages when we were transpiring the- when we were tra trapezing, not trapezing, trapezing about the aisles like merchants on holiday? <laughs> he is going to be so mad. Come here. <laughs> They're both in good spirits. It's <laughs> a lot better than giving into despair, I suppose. Lord Hollywood. Are you feeling better? Uh, Marcus, I'm... I'm fine. I know I worried you. About Lord Albert. At my own discretion, I sent a messenger to Lady Eleanor. What gives you the right to do that, dude? I see. Uh, thank you, Marcus. That was well done. I thought she should know as soon as possible. The Marquise's final moments were so... very noble. Lord Alleywood. Commander Marcus. Ah. No, oh, I says. Is that you, Isadora? Isadora? I finally found you. I'm glad you're well. Isadora, what are you doing here? Don't tell me something's happened to Mama. <laughs> no, Lady Eleanor is well. Do not worry. When word of Lord Albert's death reached her yesterday, she said not a word. She merely gave her full attention to the messenger. Mother. Then she issued me orders without hesitation. She commanded I deliver the sword to Lord Al Ali Wood and remain at his side. But but the castle's defenses will be short-handed. Lord Ali Wood, please. Understand your mother's feelings. Lord Albert is not coming home. All your mother can do now is pray for your continued safety. Obey your father's dying wish. That is her message to you, and I have delivered it. Why not petition us to you? For reinforcements to help ward Castle Fairy. Ah, good idea. I guess it would ease my mother's fears and bow to her wishes. It's that thinking that makes you Lord Elliot. <laughs> Our battles are like nothing you've ever prepared for. Are you ready to face them, Isadora? Yes. I will serve with my very life. Uh, Wiz, is something wrong? Uh, oh, you're worried about me. <laughs> I apologize for all the trouble. I'm fine now. I have my friends to lean on. Hector, Lindus, and, and you, Wiz. Thanks to all of you, I am getting stronger. I'm coming to believe that together we can overcome anything. Oh, such a happy... Such a happy sentiment. Saria. Listelia. You called, Lord Negron. My wound needs time. It was a deep cut, and my strength is not what it was. The man who did this to me is dead. I'd like his son de son's death as compensation. Sadia, you will use Brandon to move the Black Fang. I do not need more underlings now. Me and no more. I need the four fangs. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll have them bowing their heads to you, my lord. Lestalia, I want you to gather me quintessence. For this injury to him, I will need much. 
You are the strongest of all my morphs. Kill all those who bear signs of great power. As you will. That sounds terrifying. Sounds like stuff's about to get real bad. But for now, it looks like our ragtag team is doing pretty okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fire Emblem. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. So be sure to that like button, subscribe button, the share button. Check all the buttons. And I'll see you guys in the next one.